This is the Absolute Business Mindset Podcast. This podcast will give you insight into business. I will share my thoughts, ideas from content leaders and experiences from my life. And I hope you'll have a few aha moments on the journey. Today is Small Business Thursday and I'm going to talk about the seven uh, biggest problems and how to overcome them in small business. The first problem that small businesses often uh, come up against is lack of cash flow. So when you start a business or you're in a small business, cash is king and cash gives you liquidity of being able to do other things with it. So to be able to grow uh, a business, it's useful to have uh, capital and cash flow. Um, the solution is is to be able to think about um, alternative ways of being able to make money and be able to have funding from different places. You can get grants uh, from and 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 other um, loans that you can do to bring cash flow into the business. The second small business problem is marketing and advertising. This is something that I think most people struggle with in small businesses. Um, it's marketing is the most important thing and sales is the most important thing to keep your business afloat. Um, I would suggest using social media, uh, networking, uh, having good ideas and, and marketing uh, approaches that are get the most out of uh, your whether it's a product or service that you sell um, and get the most out of it by using sales and marketing. Number three is being able to manage your time. Um, there are often uh, people who have small businesses work uh, absolutely so hard for the hours that they do and not always it comes out as uh, financial um, uh, benefit. Uh, some of the biggest challenges can be emails, uh, phone calls, instant messaging, uh, busy schedules, uh, being just dist- being distracted by other things uh, can definitely be a troubled time uh, for a small business owner. I would say the thing that to be able to solve this is uh, be a bit more stricter with your time, get your time back, be a bit a bit stricter with it. Um, be realistic on what the time frames that you have to be able to do things and, and, and make sure that you push yourself and, and track that time uh, to be able to see the solutions and the accomplishments that you can do with your time management. The fourth problem that you might find is performing administrative tasks. This is a tricky one because uh, a lot of people, you need to do those administrative tasks, whether they're finances or um, arranging meetings or um, getting things set up uh, for payments or or, or keeping uh, keeping businesses running. Um, the solution again, I think, is probably outsourcing. If it's um, if it's an availability for you, um, then I would say outsource it, and you'll get the better chance of being able to successfully uh, manage your admin tasks. Number five is hiring and retaining top talent. So, if you do have employees, if you've moved on from a solopreneur onto uh, a small business uh, with employees, um, they can be one of your biggest headaches um, because being able to keep the right people. Sometimes you need generalists, sometimes you need specialists, and being able to keep the right people in the right place uh, can be a bit of a challenge. Um, this solution is to think about salary and benefit what you can actually be competitive in the market with what you can afford um, to be able to keep your business moving forward Uh, there's all sorts of things with internships that you might be able to uh, get solutions with uh, but uh, but it is important to keep your your best people uh, to be able to be successful uh, number six is uh, is providing and managing benefits. So everyone needs uh, medical insurance, uh, paid off time, um, illness, etc. Um, and they can be one of the hardest things of being able to, to manage to make sure the right people get the right benefits um, because um, you need to be able to be compliant as well as generous to your employees. Um, you just need to read up about it and make sure that you are uh, you, you, you've got the right benefits in place. It's a little bit of research, but you know what? It could cause you so many more headaches further down the line if you don't get that right. 
And then the last one, number seven, is navigating government uh, changes, government rules, um, because there can be so many different... The, the, the budget might affect things, and you need to keep... And the solution to that is just keeping on top of it and making sure you understand your responsibilities as, uh, as, an, as, a, as a limited company, a solopreneur, or whatever type of business that you are. So you just need to keep on top of those things and make sure that you are aware of them and, and you act accordingly from a compliance point of view as well as uh, uh, any other. Uh, things so so just keep on top of that um, and then you should be fine okay guys thank you so much for your time this was the seven small business problems that most small businesses face and the solutions i hope you enjoyed it thanks a lot